In looking at some of the data and reports coming in from yesterday, we can kind of piece together where some of the uh, potential tornadoes occurred, and some of these have already been confirmed. Some EF1s and EF0s confirmed in the Bryan College Station area. Now, what you're seeing here, not every red zone indicates a tornado path. That's just where we've heard of some damage and maybe straight line wind damage, maybe tornadoes, but uh, certainly some of the more significant ones were occurring in Williamson County. Uh, Matt Hines this evening is going to be spending some time out towards uh, Gerald investigating that. And that was the very first tornado that touched down in our viewing area. Uh, those surveys are yet to be done by the National Weather Service. It'll also be interesting to see the results that come out of the Granger area. Uh, some initial reports have some pretty serious damage in that or near that community, uh, but we'll be awaiting the final ratings from the National Weather Service before too long. After that front move through last night, it's been a cooler day and it's going to be chilly tonight uh, with lows down into the upper 30s, basically 39 degrees for many of us, maybe reaching 40 down by uh, Madisonville and Georgetown. High temperatures tomorrow, they're going to be nice in the upper 60s, not as warm as it's been lately, but still on the comfortable side, 65 for Meridian. We should have 69 for Temple and Colleen, 67 for Lampasas and Waco, a high of 68. So not a whole lot really here on Future Track. A few clouds coming through uh, this evening and tonight, but once we get into tomorrow morning, things will be pretty sunny and things should be staying on the sunny side for the next few days. There's really not much out there to bother us. Maybe a few clouds Wednesday evening, but by Thursday morning, we're back to the sunshine and that's going to kind of rinse and repeat over the next few days. So here's what the 10 day forecast looks like 70 degrees on Thursday. We will be warming up, although Thursday morning could be cool at 37 Then 79 on Saturday. The whole weekend looks good and then 80 degree weather does return on Sunday, even up to maybe 83, 84 by Tuesday, cooling off slightly by Wednesday with a chance of some showers and maybe a thunderstorm.